about change. All the people, young and old, whether it's hot or whether it's cold, complaining. So my name is Margaret Evans, and I'm an artistic associate in the Performing Arts Department at Harbor Front Center. Last February, Tina presented World Stage Programming, which included the Complaints Choir. My name is Tina Rasmussen, and I'm the Director of Performing Arts here at Harbor Front Center. I'm also the Artistic Director of World Stage. World Stage is Harbor Front Center's signature series of international performance, including dance and theater. I wanted to take the Complaints Choir, which was essentially a project to bring people together into a community and um, make complaints about the city of their lives and then turn them into song. And this idea that, that art transforms lives, it gives us perspective, it gives us a point of view, it helps us understand our biases and preferences. And, I mean, the process began with uh, asking Bryce to be our composer and lyricist. Great. Well, that's awesome that okay. we have all these I'm glad that you like great. those. Oh, and standing ovations for shows that suck. Bravo! Bravo! My full name is Bryce Kulak, and my role is as the composer and leader of the Toronto Complaints Choir at Harbourfront Centre's World Stage. We started talking about it, I guess, last spring. And we started receiving complaints from the public in the fall, and the call for complaints closed on February 28th. So it's been quite a long process to come to this point. I guess I had almost a thousand complaints at that time by January, and what I had done is I put them into um, categories. The TTC, Rob Ford, um, etiquette, the weather, family, the environment. Nobody singles in their cars. No good 30 singles bars. Why do the Maple Leafs always lose? I hate getting tiny rocks in my shoes. Throughout the past week, um, there's been a choir of anywhere from 80 to 125 people. It's a project that originated in Finland uh, with a couple of Finnish artists, and they wanted to give voice to the public's concerns about life. There's a Finnish expression that actually means a chorus of complaints, and these artists decided to make that a literal um, choir. The performance this evening is our final performance, so we're trying to go out with a bang. Um, the choir has invited their friends and family. There's something totally lame about it, my rat's not easy to tame about it. Dog poo, pick it up! Dog poo, pick it up! Dog poo, pick it up! Dog poo! My name is Selena Abji, and I'm here because I love to sing, and I love flash mobs. We've renamed it Annoyance Alley, <laughs> but we're in the distillery district, just in a little corner where people are trying to get to the show and they need to walk through us to get there. Where are the attractive single men? Bugs are invading my house again. We are people, not sardines. Not everything is about you, teens. We're here tonight to um, kind of do a, it's like a flash mob, but it's more of a spontaneous type of performance because it was a little bit more planned. That's how I'm spending my time about it. There's something almost a crime about it. Beyond the sea, yeah. beyond the sea, yeah. beyond the sea, yeah. beyond the sea. Yeah. How have the flash mobs gone down with the public? Well, we've had some varying responses. Some people are confused as to why we're complaining, um, and they feel as though it might be a bit negative. Um, but most people are really excited about it. Uh, most people really identify with a lot of the complaints in the song. We've had the public singing along. We've been passing out lyric sheets. And so we've had complete strangers kind of joining the choir at the last second. Do you know what it was? Yes, yes. How'd you... Volunteers for the complaining chorus. Yes, they are indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so sorry I missed it. <laughs> it's called a cell phone, not a yell phone. Complaining. And we are ready to groan about it. There's nothing we can condone about it. We're gonna sweetly intone about it. It's time to finally own about it. 
Kevin W. And I came to uh, I came to uh, the Complaints Choir because I heard about it on CIUT, and uh, I thought it wasn't so much the complaining as it was the choir. I uh, I uh, I'd like to sing. And um, also, I think there's something inherently cathartic about complaining. And I think an opportunity for a, a group of people to do it together offers nothing but um, a possible community to be formed and uh, joy to be had. I just enjoy the idea of being with people that are interested in not complaining, but coming together as a community. Yeah. It, I, it's hard to find uh, a forum to sing that is not religious. Uh, uh, in, you know, kind of in, in structure. So, you know, I don't necessarily have anything against a religion. I just don't like getting up that early on Sundays. So. Um, my name is Christine Maitland, and I'm here because I think it's something fun to do. Getting fast, getting fast, getting fast, getting fast. The media interest in the project has been amazing. Uh, over the last week, I've done so many interviews uh, on the telephone and on the radio and on the television. And uh, I'm not used to being so much in the spotlight. Um, because I'm the composer of the project, um, it's really the choir that's in the that's the central focus of the project. So uh, it's been it's been neat. It's been there's been a lot of media attention. Uh, nosy neighbors, uh, noisy roommates, people walking upstairs. Um, so there's definitely uh, some issues that come out of the woodwork and kind of make themselves clear. The only thing that the um, creators of the complaints choir insist upon is that the process be uh, very much a volunteer basis and very relaxed. There's supposed to be, you know, no pressure. This is open to singers of all kinds, whether you have experience or you don't. Um, and the only thing they insist upon is having cookies and or snacks and tea and coffee at, at rehearsals. No good music on the radio. Salt on the streets and shoveling snow. No public toilets when you need to go. I can't ever find a right avocado. I was continually amazed by everyone's energy and generosity. Um, and their excitement at performing and their nervousness at performing. It was so wonderful to watch. And watching everyone come together as a group, it's something that, you know, the more plays you do, sometimes you forget about what a galvanizing thing that can be to bring people together for a brief period of time. And you create this little gem. Song about it. I hope you'll all sing along about it. It's time to finally shout about it. Complain. Where did you get your uh, green feather bow from? Oh, this I got from the dollar store on uh, Sherborne. How much did it cost? A dollar. <laughs> and I just want to complain about it. I'm clearly going insane about it. There must be someone to blame about it. Yes, I want someone to name about it. Wrong.